Trials of low-cost unmanned drones have been taking place off the coast of Plymouth. And experts say they could revolutionise how we exploit our oceans. The developers predict that within five years, swarms of these remotely controlled vessels will be at sea for months at a time, gathering all kinds of data from around the world. More now from our environment correspondent, Adrian Campbell. These pictures have been gathered off the coast of Plymouth by an autonomous drone called Autonaut, which was towed out of Plymouth and then set free to roam the high seas. It's remotely controlled using satellite tracking and requires very little onboard power. Out of the water, we were given a guided tour of this tiny craft. So this is Autonaut. She's a wave-propelled unmanned surface vessel. She uses PV panels to charge her electronics. Uh, and our electronics on board this one is a high bandwidth uh, satellite data communications, which transmits gyro-stabilized video. And she can go for about three months until we have to come back and scrub off the barnacles and sticky stuff. This is the first time that Autonaut is being launched into the water. The applications for this vessel are truly quite astounding. And there are others in production at the moment. These boats can go and do jobs for long periods of time, gathering data, surveillance missions, uh, there are military applications, and in five years' time they will be prolific and doing a lot of tasks that at the moment uh, men and, and, and women have to do in, in dangerous and dull circumstances. Autonaut will also be sending back data from two highly specialised microchips, similar to ones which have already been trialled in space. They'll help analyse radioactivity at sea. And a special project involving Plymouth schools will also provide an opportunity to engage school children in this cutting edge research. We are going to take the data from those detectors on ships to actually understand the marine environment better. And school students can analyse that data. There's so much data out there. Drones at sea may sound like science fiction but they've already started work off our coasts. Adrian Campbell, BBC Spotlight, Plymouth.